For the last few years, Darren and I have talked a lot about using three different sites of action pre-emerge in soybeans. That's your very best plan to get great weed control. So today we wanted to talk through what your options are and what the costs are too, because that's probably the biggest thing that I hear from people. They're worried, well, I can't use three pre's. The commodity prices are down and it's going to cost a lot of money. Well, weeds will definitely cost you more money. There's no question about it. How they compete for sunlight, for nutrients, and for water with your crop, it's huge. When we look at weeds like pigweed, for example, whether it's palmer pigweed or tall water hemp across the country, if you have a heavy infestation of pigweed in your fields, you're going to give up tremendous well, amounts of Well, it's not just yield. pigweed. It's all these different weeds. And let me just say, too, the reason why we talk about using three pre's is because the post-emerge options stink. There is no good post-emerge option if Roundup isn't working unless you're going to Liberty. So if you've got a Roundup bean and Roundup doesn't kill the weeds in your area, what are you going to do? Sure, you can use Flexstar or Pursuit or First Rate or Classic or some of these products, yes, they'll work on tiny weeds and they'll probably give you 90 to 95% control. Okay, well, if you've got a billion weeds out in your field, heck, even if you have a million weeds out in your field and you get 90 or 95% control, it's not good enough. You're still gonna have significant yield loss. So you're much ahead to start with a clean field, get these weeds under control early and pre-emerge. Well, here's the other way I look at it is, I talk to guys all across the country, I don't wanna have to burn my beans post-emerge and I think that actually might hurt my yield when I'm burning leaves. You don't need to. If you can control these weeds pre, it's cheaper and you're gonna have much less crop response doing it. Okay, let's talk about the program. So what we'd recommend is put down Metribuzin. The highest rate we want you to use is a third of a pound that costs four bucks. But if you've got high pH soil or sandy ground, then use a lower rate, a sixth of a pound, an eighth of a pound, a tenth of a pound. Doesn't cost very much money. The next thing is use one of the yellows. That's Sonalan, Treflan, or Prowl. Your cost is gonna vary from $4 to $12, depending on which of the products you use. Prowl is the only one that can be used in no-till. Now, instead of the yellows, if you want to use Zidua, you'll find that in Fierce, for example. You certainly can do that. That's a group 15. We'd prefer that you save the group 15 for early post-emerge, so use the yellow. Then finally, we want you to use a PPO. Sharpen is fine. You just can't use a high enough rate to give you good residual, so we'd recommend using either Valor or Authority. And that, after rebate, is going to cost you 6 or $7 an acre. For the low rate, if you want to bump the rate, you certainly can do that. Okay, back to the Metribuzin for just a minute, because I was going to add the comment to what Brian was saying of, Talk to an agronomist in your area who knows your soils. He can tell you how much metribuzin you can use. But I get this response from different areas in the country where they say, well, agronomists in my area say, oh, we can't use metribuzin because yeah, they used to use two-thirds of a pound per acre. No. That was the full rate right. back in the, you know, whatever, 30 years ago when I was a kid. And two-thirds of a pound, sure, you definitely can't do that in high pH or sand. But don't listen to the guys that say you can't use any amount of metribuzin. Right. I find that very hard to believe. Just reduce your rate. The other thing in high pH or in low cation exchange capacity sandy soils, what you'll find is that a lower rate of metribuzin works like the full rate. It really does a nice job on weed control because it's so highly available. So don't wipe that out of your program, just reduce the amount that you're putting out. Okay, so let me make it simple for you with Metribuzin. And again, this is the old Sencor or Lexone, same stuff that we had 30 years ago. As long as your soil pH is less than 7.4, and as long as you don't have light sandy soil, then use a third of a pound. Okay, if you've got pH above 7.4 or you have sandy soil, that's when you would need to reduce the rate. One other thing to keep in mind is the pre's that we talked about, none of them can be used post-emerge. Now, there are some post-emerge products that can be used pre. For example, Pursuit. You'll find that in Authority Assist or, or First or first rate, you'll find that in Sonic or Authority First. Those are great products. Hey, but don't I'd forget rather... about Flexstar. And you can find that in a number of different pre-emerge options as well, like Prefix. So Flexstar and First Rate and Pursuit, we don't like to use those pre-emerge. Let's save the other ones for post, even the Zidua. Okay, and I know there's a lot of fierce sold throughout the country, and it's a fine product, don't get me wrong, but I'd rather split that up. I'd rather use the Valor Pre and use the Zidua early post if we need it to give us even more residual. So all those products products that can be used post, we'd rather have you save them for post because if you burn them up pre, what are you going to do post? You can't go back and use them again post emerge. You're going to have carryover issues or crop injury issues or something like that. So you only get one shot at it. Save the post products for post. So again, we want you to use three different sites of action pre-emerge. All three. Now, it doesn't have to be at the exact same time. If you're further south in the country and you say, well, I need to put a couple different shots of residual out before I even plant my crop, I certainly understand that. But in the north where we're at, we put them all three out at the exact same time. We're throwing out one of the yellows again, Prowl, 
Traff Lance on land, plus Metribuzin, which is the old Sencor, plus either Authority or Valor. And what that's the, cost, the residual you need. Right, and what the cost is going to be is $12 to $20 an acre, depending on the product you use and the rate you're using. So yes, I realize it does cost some money, but weeds are going to cost you a lot more money than that if you don't get great weed control. And annual weeds are tough, like we were talking about. Our Weed of the Week is a biennial. We'll explain coming up next.